Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and welcome to another Tech Talk video. Not, not TikTok, but Tech Talk, T-E-C-H. All right, enough with the spelling, we have very limited time, 9.18, it was 9.18, 9 minutes 18, haha, uh, because my rice is boiling, then I have to put chicken in. So, uh, what are we doing today? <laughs> uh, well, we're halfway through putting the new power flex bushes in. Uh -huh. Because, I would show you, but I had to drill them out because we haven't got a press. Uh, the old bushes were destroyed, uh -huh. like mega destroyed. So put the new Powerflex Black Series in. Um, it's like AMG Black Series, but then... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you look with the camera here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I can, show you, I can show you off the car, but they're, that's then fitted on one side, and then this front bush in as well. Yeah. Which looks OEM. Nice. So it's even better. Uh, show you here. Oof. So... Obviously, the, you can see the, the gold or zinc plated sleeve. So the OEM bush has like an aluminium sleeve, mm -hmm. which is in there, and then the bushing's in the aluminium sleeve. Um, long story short, you either press it out or drill it, mm -hmm. and then smash it out of a hammer, and then you make a little incision with a saw, and then bend with a chisel this way. The chisel? And then the aluminium sleeve falls out. This goes in super easy, to be honest. You can line it up, get it nice and like square, and I just went with a drift and a hammer. Make sure you don't like use the exact right size drift, so otherwise mm -hmm. it'll bend the inside of the sleeve. It's something that we have covered more in detail when we were replacing the bushings on the Mark IV Golf twice. One time in Croatia, then when the car got crashed, we had to do it again on the second car. Uh, and we were using presses for some of them, but uh, you can also use just yeah. So That's normally good. you get like a, I don't know, you'd use a drift that sort of size support the arm so it doesn't give it too much stress and then you hammer the hammer the bushing mm -hmm. through. It's kind of the ghetto way of doing it, which is what most people will be doing. Mm -hmm. Most people haven't got access to a press on the street and stuff for their for them budget builds. Um, but also you should take note as well, it's got the eccentric yeah. sleeve, which is cast the correction. Mm -hmm. Which Powerflex have like instructions for all of this on the website. They send it with the bushes sometimes as well. So there's always stuff to show you, which uh, to be honest with you, I actually really like the instructions because they're simple and they're idiot proof. Mm. So, so I could do it. So yeah, most of the time you read instructions, like um, if KMP send bearings or something, it's like a technical drawing with very limited words. So you're kind of like, mm, yeah. <laughs> I guess it goes in this way, I don't know. Whereas they actually put in detail what it is. So yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Um, nice. But yeah, where's the other bushing gun actually? Oh, here, here we go. So you can see that. That is. It's starting to split in the middle. So that's the OEM. That's the OEM front arm bush, yeah. Hmm. So that's all cracked up and split. The, they have survived for long. These are the, this is the alternative. This is the replacement basically. So these so are. So it also consists out of two parts to, yeah, this to is get a, it This is a two part bush, which is easy. So once you, this comes out quite easy to be honest. If you're going to do this like a budget way. Let's go quickly because your rice is going to boil over. No, we have six more minutes. The rice is not going to boil over, it's 20 minute rice, but after 12 minutes I need to put chicken in. So you can do it a budget way, I always put a drift in, and then... Yeah. Probably don't tight with the arm. Helps if the arm tightens up in the glass. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. And then go with like a 17mm socket or something to finish it off. This one is less torn. Yeah, this one's a geo okay. Which size is this? Side? This maybe? is the front right. Front so the right. front left was like fucked. Hmm. Just trying right to front. think which curbs on the left, I mean. Fox hole with a mum we're actually staying I mean, away any, from the curbs. Anyway. Any curbs, yeah, are not good for the bearings and bushes and stuff anyway, but um, these are pretty like these fall, like, fall in. Oh easy. So these are these are really easy to go. Are with. you using any grease? Not for like the ones that go in this easy as a two part bearing, as a two part bush. Um, but on this one, I don't use grease on the, the metal sleeve because it's interference fit. So it's like just press in and it stays there. Mm -hmm. For Pressing the rubber into the sleeve, you use fairy washing up liquid or like okay. washing up liquid. Um, 
you've got to say we had some here. Because you don't want to use grease on that because you don't want the bush to be spinning around all over the place and then the grease can can deteriorate bushings as well. Mm -hmm. Then you want to use the special polyurethane grease to put this middle sleeve in. You can see that there's that residue there. Oh yeah. And so they supply that as well, it's on the side here. Yeah, yeah, the this one. Those black things. Or white packets but full of black grease. Oh, yeah. this is actually clear, but it is. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I think yeah there are two types. Yep. Could be. Yeah. But the this yeah, super easy. This is idiot proof. Put it in. Easy as that. You have to tap that one with a drift, but it'll go. It'll be yeah. all right. Actually, I'll grease that, to be fair. Okay, now it's stuck. Now it's stuck. <laughs> Yeet! Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. But it's cool because they work. I've had them on my golf for what? 350 laps? 315 laps. 350. 350. 350 laps well. I've done in the golf now. And that's like. The, the only bushing, so the only bushing that we used was the, the rear, this bush basically on mine. Mm -hmm. And that was like, I don't know how old that was. Mm -hmm. It was kind of used when I put it in anyway. That's the only one that's shown a little bit of wear in the middle, but mm -hmm. 350 laps on a car with no coilovers or anything. And yeah. it's like curbs in the Instagram story I just put yeah. up, like, come on, it, it's done well. So exactly. everything else is mint, the rear beam bushes, everything is mint, so. Yeah, and uh, important to mention, they're actually exempt from tooth, right? They are exempt from TUV, and I had this. If your TUV guy starts kicking off about it, <laughs> message TUV and tell them this is the case, and they'll send you all the papers to say that they're exempt from TUV because they didn't find it necessary to test them because they're stronger than OEM bushings, but not a bearing. Mm. So they don't go to a metal bushing with a with a, like a uniball or something. So yeah, it's just basically a, a different material, which is actually stronger than rubber. So they don't need to be TUV, which is pretty cool. Nice. So yeah, easy as that. Easy as that. So you told me off camera previously that it brings us an extra advantage of running extra caster and well, that in the corners it will. This is obviously caster correction, and if you run it in this position, they say it gives you a tiny bit more caster. Caster is. Caster is the. I'll show you. It's easier. So caster is the swing, this angle. Mm -hmm. So positive caster, negative caster. Um, so yeah, if you run a little bit more caster, what. Essentially, what happens with a, with a wheel when you on this side, on this side, I'll show you, it's easier. So what happens essentially when you drive, you, as you accelerate, everything wants to do this. And the more you do this, obviously, the more the geometry changes, which is why on the BMWs you put the, with the you know, the Shermer kit we done with the mm -hmm. solid bearings on the yeah. caster arm, it stops that initial movement. So with positive caster, it brings it, but you always get a tiny bit. So obviously, if you have it a little bit more forward, it brings it more central. Obviously, everything you want to stay level and even as it stands. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's an added bonus. That's so, is it you only can, for for acceleration or also in corners? Uh, in corners as well. Obviously, it stops everything moving around so much. It's what you want. You don't really want suspension geometry to be changing as you're driving. It's not ideal. Mm -hmm. That's why you go solid bearings. That's why you go solid top mounts. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, so you not only have obviously better control and feedback through your steering wheel, but also that it doesn't change while you go cornering. Great example is the 993 project that we'll go more in, into detail later on. But uh, I'm they excited. They do also make camber and caster adjustable yeah. machines. So these ones that they've supplied us. Wait, I'm lost now. Here, the one for here and the one for here. You can get camber adjustable with like a little plate and a C spanner, mm -hmm. and you adjust that, and it's obviously eccentric, so it pushes the bushing round. So it'll give you more camber, and on the back it gives you more caster, you can adjust it, and now it gives you that caster adjustment. Nice. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. Any other bushings that we're going to change on the car? All of them. All of them? Yeah, we're going to change all of them. But at the moment, the ones that were worn out, we wanted to get them super quick, so they sent us to like, literally express delivery. Mm -hmm. They were here like next day after they sent them. So That's cool. I remember I had to wait for mine for like four or five months, but it was because Brexit production yeah, Brexit and this and that and, and uh, COVID. 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 Um, so yeah, they sent us these out and we've also got the engine mount, which I'm not going to change just yet because we're running low on time. So Speaking of low on time, faster. I got to go put my chicken. But we'll do another video. We'll do another one on the, yeah. the thing. Or That's it. Or something. Exactly. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, uh, I'm excited to do a lap with it and uh, more than one lap and we have a race coming up next week. But I got to run now and uh, do, put the chicken in the water. So thanks, George. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, great. Always use two hands when cooking. Don't do...
everything at once. Et voilà, let's give it some backlight. Yeah, chicken and rice, perfect for gains. And some spices and olive oil to just make things not too dry. Enjoy. It's nice and warm. Chicken was good as well. Got How was the lab? Got it warmed up for you. Thank you very much. So you say it's a world of, the world of difference. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's you, try. You see. We'll okay, see. let's try. By the way, trying now the right, correct GoPro settings. Marta is joining me for a lap as well. So uh, let's have some fun.
Hope you enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Good. A part of, of a woman in carousel. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I, trust it. I don't know what she was doing. Yeah, I, I was not sure either, so I'm like, yeah. I mean, instead, you go inside or yeah, you or you stay outside. Not in the middle. So. Yeah, it was a bit too much of. Uh, that's why I didn't overtake yeah. in the carousel. Ugh, that was fantastic. Without over exaggerating, it really does the job. And I hope you could have seen it on the video when you compare it to my previous lap. I was actually understeering a bit in certain corners because on the fast corners where you need to like be really agile, especially like Hatzenbach, the car was understeering because I needed to put less input because now the whole chassis or like the, the whole geometry would be stable. In the past, I had to like turn in a bit more because it would flex back a bit. And therefore now I need to get used to the car slightly because when I turn in, it just, it is as it is. There is no, no chassis or like a suspension geometry flex. So it really works, it does the job, it's amazing. Um, I hope you enjoyed also the, the quality of the video. Now, I, I don't know yet if it's any good. So let's see, there's that. Thanks for watching and looking forward to drive the race even with this. Mm. Maybe there are also some other upgrades coming in the meanwhile. But for that, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, hit the notification bell, all those things. And uh, see you next video. Bye bye. I guess after such a lap, I earned myself the second half of the chicken and rice. Yeah, too much. Yeah. Why so hot though? Double food chat, how's that for a video?